be the band you call your big black bottom. They put the end of that. In American history, so much time, productivity, and energy has been wasted on otherness, that notion that one group of people are somehow superior to another group of people. Case in point, the 1919 race riots of Chicago, the backdrop for Raven Theater's stage play, The Prodigal Daughter, now through June 22nd. This is the final installment of playwright Joshua Allen's Grand Boulevard Trilogy, Set in Chicago's south side, near one of those imaginary lines, drawn by city fathers and real estate developers, separating black and white neighborhoods. In 1919, the riots are simmering, uh, precipitated by an incident at a Lake Michigan beach in which a black teenager was drowned after rocks were thrown because he crossed an imaginary line. The Bass family, widower John Bradford Stevens, and youngest daughter Daisy Saul Fuller and Aunt Lottie R.J.W. Mays are hunkering in their home on Grand Boulevard when a surprise return takes place from oldest daughter Virginia, Stephanie Matos, who has a white companion named George, Steph Brundage. They are traveling vacuum cleaner sales reps and Virginia returns home to show off her job and presumably her man. This causes issues with an old lover, Reverend Maxwell, Brian Hayes, and the ingredients are in place for a tense reunion. Meanwhile, race riots are right outside the door. This is a confrontational tale that takes place all inside the home, which will serve as a setting for the other two plays in the trilogy in the future, and the roots of the family present are facing off essentially because the outside events force them inside. The story is not so much one of the riots, they simmer beneath, as much as a family dispute that needs resolution. The parallel between the outside and inside are central, but the story didn't really have a substantial link, and the riots seem more of an afterthought. However, the performances are tight, especially Stephanie Maddows as Virginia, who crackles with resentment and lost opportunities with both her dead mother and estranged father, and the hope she brings back home is necessary for the splintering unit. The issues of the race riots are in opposition to the family's woes, but in the broader sense, it's a beginning of another slide down the socioeconomic ladder towards another destiny for the future of Grand Boulevard. The Prodigal Daughter, three and a half out of five, now at Raven Theater through June 22nd. Oh, to see the band, you call your big black bottom. 